-hmm. You know, putting the actual day that the prosecuting attorney mm -hmm, filed with the court, yes, and not putting the arraignment date, yes, mm -hmm, in many ways obstructed my right to, as the defendant to make arrangements to travel to Jefferson County. Now, obviously from the 8th to the 21st, yes. Mm -hmm. If it had been an arraignment date where I did see it online and I decided to go there, yes. Uh, there's a 13-day difference between the... Yeah. I don't think the prosecuting attorney tried very hard, yes, to serve me the criminal complaint, yes, so that I could prepare to go to court as a defendant. Oh. Now, I think that you cannot put in the public court record uh, dates other than arraignment dates as the district court case. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it should have said January 5th as the arraignment date. Yes. Because what if you're not arraigned? What if you arrest a person and they decide to let you go? <laughs> Example being when I was arrested at the library. Poop. Put me in jail on February 23rd of 2000. What's the day again? Mm -hmm. 2019. <laughs> but it doesn't show up on the district court record, does it? No. <laughs> because um, there was no probable cause for the arrest. That's right. <laughs> I was in Isclim, Washington on February 9th of 2019. That's right. <laughs> so you mm -hmm, uh, filing this with the Jefferson County District Court? Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I think it should have been filed with the court. Then you should have served me, and then the arraignment date should have been on the public court record. That way, myself, yes, as the defendant, yes, would have had some additional time to find out exactly what the problem was. Poop. But when you um, when you date the complaint on 8-2 of 2017, yes, you put it on the public court record, and I asked the police department, oh, what's this about? <laughs> Not knowing that the public court record doesn't give me an actual date of arraignment. Mm. When was it that I was going to be arraigned again? What does the public court record say? Mm -hmm. Arraignment date is August 8th, or the arraignment date is the 21st. Mm -hmm. Did I have available of the knowledge of when the actual arraignment date was? It's a district court case, right? It's not on the public court record, right? There's no possible way for me to know the day of arraignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do I know when you're having the court hearing? I don't. I don't know when you're having the fucking court hearing. I know that you put it on there. Yes. Now, uh, a failure to appear. Is there something other than this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because nobody questioned me about it. Oh, it happened on June 16th. Yes. I I'm willing to be wrong on this, but as I see it, yes. Mm -hmm. I could see online that there was a public, there was a court date there was a, a district court filing on August 8th of 2017? Yes. But did anybody give me any information on when the actual arraignment date was? Does it say on the public court record, district court case? Hmm. Uh, I don't think it does. So I think there's a very limited amount of knowledge available to an individual to find out when actual court dates are. Yes. Now, uh, I went online, that's right, mm -hmm. and um, I made a screen print that it said that you were having a court hearing on... <laughs>